Tonight, we're going where folks say you uh, shouldn't go on social media. Tonight, Tap Dancing on Landmines here, talking about faith. Everyday KT, number 216, and yes, why faith is important to everything you do. Now, a lot of people are already saying, oh, God, blah, 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 preaching, blah, blah, blah. Stop. Expecting me to give you a sermon on a god, a religion, a ideology, a belief system, a philosophy? Well, you're wrong. That's not what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Faith is important in everything you do because, well, okay, so let me back up. Is it beneficial to a great many people to have some form of faith in something? Absolutely. Something that's not themselves? Absolutely, yes. It is, is definitely beneficial to a great many people. Is it for everybody? No, not necessarily. I mean, most people that I know who have faith in something believe very strongly and will get very pissed off if you question their faith. So I don't. It's not my place. It's them, their beliefs, their faith, their whatever. That's up to them. But that's not the faith we're talking about today. The faith today we're talking about is your faith in yourself. Very simple. Very, very hard to do. Because believing in something else, regardless of what that is, that in some way something else is going to help make your life easier, is very, very simple. It's like, hey, I'm going to believe in this water bottle. It's going to make my life easier, life better. Things are, it's going to save me. That's fine. Pretty easy to do. You, I mean, it's very difficult to commit yourself to that faith entirely and, it's in, and completely, but it's... It's not that hard. Now, having that same faith in yourself, whole different animal. Because you have to put that same amount of belief into your own abilities, your own constitution, your own way of doing things. That's, that's hard. You have to put faith in yourself. The fact that you can do things. You are able you know, there's all kinds of silly books from the eight, the 90s, you know. Some guy looking in the mirror. I am good enough. I am strong enough. I am whatever enough. Well, that takes faith. But faith in yourself. Because if you don't have faith in yourself, you've got nothing. You can hope and wish and pray and whatever other thing you might do that somebody else is going to swoop in and, and save the day. Well, I've, I've researched a whole lot of faiths in my life and... Most of them have a lot to do with, you know, whomever helps those who help themselves. Nobody's going to sit and say, oh, you're on a couch, you're lazy, and you're useless. Let me give you a job and money and all these things. It doesn't work that way. You have to get off your butt and do it yourself. So that's where this faith comes in. You have to have faith in yourself, your abilities, your understanding, your knowledge, your creativity, your whatever it is that you do that makes you you. That makes you awesome, that makes you unique, that makes you different. That makes you special and not the everybody gets a trophy kind of special. The kind of special that is somebody thinks about a certain thing and they think of you. That is what I'm talking about. It makes you different, it makes you stand out. You have to have faith in yourself so you can do that. To allow yourself to not only understand what you can do, but so that you can utilize that and actually excel in your life, in your work, in your whatever. You know, being a better person is what it's all about. And if you have faith in yourself, you can exercise that. You can do that. You know, you have faith in your ability to lead people. Well, you can actually do that and do a better job with that. Faith in your ability to perform. Say you do, you're a musician. You can become better because you have faith that, oh, that's a really hard piece. Well, you figure it out. You know how to do it. You have faith in your abilities as a professional contractor, for instance, or a, a wood carver. Somebody comes up and says, I have a tree. I need you to make it. You get one shot. You kill this tree because it's you know some kind of old, rare tree. Screw it up and it's over. You got no, no, no redos. That faith in yourself will give you the strength to do that. So you need that faith. So... Faith is very important. Faith is something you should have always. First and foremost, faith in yourself. Because if you don't have faith in yourself, who the hell else will? Last I checked, 
that, that list is pretty short because if you don't believe in yourself, you don't give yourself the credit due, you don't give yourself the ability to flourish and succeed, if you're not going to let you do it, why are you going to ask someone else to do the same thing? What's the point? Mike, I tried like the Dickens not to. I, I, I was wondering how long that would take, and yeah, you got it. So, faith, you got to have it. Mike said it right there. So, with that, uh, I'm going to grab a, a Kiltology because I have faith that you guys want to do shenanigans tonight, and I'm not going to get in the way of that. So here we go. Kiltology number 244. It doesn't have a title because I haven't titled them yet. So, no matter what the differences are we Kilties have between us, it is a very well-known fact that when the pants hit the fan, we come together as an unstoppable unified force. No one can stop the Kilties. What the hell does that mean? It has anything to do with any of this stuff. It's very, uh, it's a very strong, bold statement. Simple. We have faith in ourselves. And when we allow ourselves to have faith in ourselves, in our faith in our own abilities, that lets us find other like-minded people who also have faith in their in themselves. Their belief systems, who cares? Could be God knows what, or no God. Who knows? Could be anything. What they do, how they do it, any of those things. Who knows? Big bag of cats. Never know what's going to come out. But there's that common thread. And we all have faith in ourselves and faith in our friends, our fellow kilt wearers, get a bunch, a bunch of guys in kilts in the same spot and shh, watch out, things will happen. So with that, I will let you know, I will let you go. Guys, go have fun tonight, shenanigan eyes. You know, go find some other somebody else in a kilt that uh, didn't know there were more than one of them out there. Go have some fun. And I will see you tomorrow. Be strong. Put a kilt on.